Welcome Leo to your activation. Uh, Leo, please stick around till the end because that is when we will be doing the activation. Okay, um, and if there is another activation that pops out for you, um, there will be one different one posted each day or could be the same as, you know, other ones. Um, but if there's something else that grabs you, go and do that one as well because that may very well um, be something that you need also. Okay, and it doesn't matter when you find this video it will um, be applicable for you when you find it. Even if the messages about why you need it don't necessarily resonate, still do the activation. Okay, work your light oracle cards. This, these are the cards we'll be using for the activation. Uh, we have the Sacred Spirit Reading Cards and the Light Seers Tarot. Okay, so let's start off here. Ascended Masters, Create Open Communication. Mm, and I feel like this is you needing to create, oh sorry, I didn't even show you, <laughs> how rude, I, I, I feel like Leo, this is about you needing to create open communication with the Ascended Masters. Um, it's quite interesting because, see these lines here? Like initially when I saw these lines, I don't know if you can see those clearly or not, but in the video. But initially when I saw them, I thought it was representing vibration. But now I look at them closely, I can't see. It, it, it's almost like it's outside of your vibration. But I feel like this is the connection to the Ascended Masters, which is very interesting. What is that about? Tell me more about Ascended Masters, please. Leo, more about Ascended Masters. You know, I feel also, Leo, like connecting with the Ascended Masters is going to give bring through for you um, guidance or you're going to get answers that you maybe previously haven't got or that you have been seeking. And it could come in the way of just kind of having this, you know, they're not going to sit down and knock on your door and be like, hey buddy, like here's your here's your answer, you know. It, it could be in the way of something like you just have more of a knowing that this is the path you're meant to go down or this is the choice you need to make or there might be, you know, you might get a sign that something you've been thinking about, you know, um, you see it everywhere or, you know, whatever it is, depending on what it is that you are asking for. Um, or, you know, whatever's going on in your life. But we have the two of wands here. Yes, yeah, see, for some of you, there might be this decision here. Um, like you're, I feel like there's something you're contemplating. Okay. Uh, for some of you, it could be travel. Um, it's quite interesting because I feel like maybe some of you feel like there's this, you want to escape potentially your situation um, and you're pondering as to how you can get out of something, whether that's in your home life or your work life or any sort of um, relationship, be it friendship or with family or, or romantically. Yeah. It's sort of like also you're waiting for a light bulb moment. So I feel like this communication with the Ascended Masters may help to let this light bulb moment come through. Okay, yeah, because then we have temperance. And this this is about healing and, um, and also doing things in moderation. So I want to say like don't sit and ponder for too long. Okay, because you could, that could be all you're doing. I want to say take some sort of action like it's almost as though Leo you need to make a decision and take the action that you need okay and and this here I feel like this is about sort of mixing things up like looking at different ways that you can make things work okay um, giving yourself some options and really thinking outside of the box because it's almost as though you think you only have this decision or that decision and these other things that haven't been considered. So connecting with the Ascended Masters may help you to do that a little bit more, okay? 
yeah, there's, there's this blending of energies that needs to happen. Um, and maybe it's the, the, the blending with the Ascended Masters that is going to help you here. Okay, meditation. Improvements require persistence. Yes. So making sure you are connecting in with the Ascended Masters through meditation. Okay, making sure that you're protecting yourself when you do that. Um, and I feel as though for some of you, Leo, you're going to have some pretty amazing experiences during this um, connection. And um, yeah, I honestly, I'm just feeling like you need to get a bit of a journal and jot them down so that you can reflect on those. Okay, uh, I feel like this will be quite beneficial for you. Uh, we have the Five of Pentacles. Okay. Some of you, some of you are feeling like, uh, you, but, well, actually, it could very well be that someone in your life has shut you out or you've shut someone out. Kind of a bit like a blocking in a sense, I'm feeling. Um, and it might feel as though there's no way to go. Like, it's doomsday, man. Like, that's it, you know? Um, and, and maybe this energy here is about waiting to hear from somebody, you know? Um, but I do want to say that it's important for you to kind of like shift your, your position in a sense because this person here doesn't see that the door over here... Um, is there or she might know it's there but she might not realize that even though it's locked there is a key um and and the interesting thing about this leo is the light's shining on it like it's real obvious looking at it here but because of her position she's not even looking up to see it and i feel as though this is something that you need to do and i feel like this meditation is going to help you shift um there'll be a shift for you in order for you to see a different way, okay, a different way of doing things, um, it could be at the moment that there's, yeah, that just seems to be blocked for some reason, and maybe it's the connection um, with your higher self, or with those ascended masters that is blocked, um, yeah, and maybe that's why I noticed that these lines weren't actually connected to this person because it could be that for some of you um, that connection's not being made because of this energy. So it's really coming out of that energy. Okay. Um, whoops, Daisy. Too many cards there. Okay, one card. One more card for meditation. Here we go. Ooh, three swords, yeah. Some of you have been really, really, really hurt. Ooh, I can feel that, man. That's, oh. Trying to put the pieces back together. Still some healing that needs to be done. You know, there's still healing that needs to be done here. And maybe this healing is going to be achieved through this meditation and this connection uh, you know look you might need there'll be other things that you need to do in your life to help with that healing but this could be you know one way of um, doing that as well as other ways yeah uh, it might just help to give you a little bit of an escape out of this energy for a bit okay um, and that's not to say that um, you, you, you know, avoiding it is the way, because it's not, you do need to feel it to heal it, unfortunately, um, but I do want to say meditation, and uh, might give you some relief, and, and, and connecting with the Ascended Masters, also, because they are there to support you, and, and they just really need you to ask for the help, before they can actually support you. So this is something that is there for you to utilize. Secret temptation being led astray. So I want to say very seriously here, Leo, don't really avoid um, using any, any form of temporary relief to help deal with this, okay? Um, 
if if you want relief of dealing with this use meditation it's a much healthier form of doing that okay uh, looking at maybe who is around you and who is trying to pull you in a certain direction the other thing i want to say about this is is um Not, not to use certain things, whether they be addictions, even addiction to the phone, um, anything along those lines. Not to use those things to um, to keep yourself from stepping out into the world. To keep yourself from um, maybe going along the path that, you know, actually... Pursuing your mission that you are here to do at this time on earth, okay? Tell me more about Secret Temptation for Leo, please. Okay, okay. Um, I do want to say here, Leo, that um, this could even be hurt from maybe the past. Um, you know, like as a child. But what I see here is that you've you've grown through this. There has been progress made, and even though this may have been really heavy, I you know, like even this heart here. There is some stitches in here, like there has been some work that has been done. So make sure that you give yourself credit for that. Um, for some of you, it may feel like, oh, this is never going to end, so I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to escape um, because I'm done and dusted with having to deal with this. But the fact of the matter is, it's important for you to look at the fact that there has been progress made and to reward yourself for that. You know, um, the other thing I just want to say Two things that I'm getting here, actually. Some of you may have lost a parent, particularly a father, um, or a a pet, particularly a dog, okay? Um, and this may be what this heartbreak is about, and you just feel like you can't carry on with your best, without your best friend here, and that is understandable, and these are the things that we need to allow ourselves to heal from, okay? Um... But I do want to say, Leo, that the wheel is turning, okay? Uh, sometimes in life, the, the wheel is always turning. It never stops turning. And sometimes when we're at the bottom of the wheel, it sucks. You know, it's not fun. And then we come around again and we're at the top of the wheel and everything's wonderful. So this is what this journey of life is about, okay? Wow. Okay, this is a whole different going in a different direction eternal union new love is forming so if this three of swords here is about a heartbreak from a romantic relationship there is new love coming in for you okay but i do want to stress quite significantly here leo this is first and foremost about you needing to form a relationship and love with yourself okay because i tell you what Self-love is the most important thing, that uh, sort of love that we can have while we are here. And the most important relationship that we will ever, ever have is that with ourselves. Two of swords. Ah, okay. I'm not sure. This is this these pesky thoughts here <laughs> bugging you, chipping away at you. Your mind is getting in the way and you can't see... See, here's this, see this, this cotton here. I, I feel like, I feel like some of you feel like you're tied, but um, you can be freed. Like the, oh, is that the hair? That's the hair that those crows are, okay. Tugging at you. There's something tugging at you. And some of you just cannot see what it is that you want which direction you want to go in. Very interesting. Tell me more about this eternal union for Leo. Too many cards there. Okay, one card. One card. Give me just one card for Leo. Here we go. Nine of Cups. Okay, wow. 
wow, that's a whole different energy here. So you have wishes, you have dreams. There are things that you want, right? But it's like there's a, this sort of, it's, it's like your thoughts are getting in the way. Your thoughts are getting in the way from this being fulfilled. From this union actually happening. And I'm just wondering if it is the case for some of you, Leo, that when you go to meditate, your thoughts uh, get louder. And they really, really, really peck at you. Um, and so I would say to that, to not entertain them. Don't invite them in. Okay, because at the end of the day, you are in control of your own mind. Even though it feels like your thoughts are controlling your mind, you are in control of your mind. Okay, and I'm also noticing this treasure box here that has been opened. Okay. And I kind of feel like if you were to say these cups, for example, were your thoughts. See how this person isn't letting them like the energy that they're vibrating out actually from their heart is is causing these cups to stay away. Um, and I feel like it would be replace those with the crows. The crows wouldn't be able to get in or anywhere near you if um, if that was what was um, actually being projected out. Uh, so yeah, so be mindful of this. Yeah, um, shield your energy. Look beneath the surface. Some of you, Leo, you feel like you're a fish out of water. Um, it, it, it's like you're, you're not in familiar territory, I feel. Uh, although, I have to say that with the meditation, again, make sure you are protecting yourself, okay? And um, with the shielding your energy, this is about your thoughts, you know? This is about you really um, making sure that you're not believing that anything can get you in a sense that you know this 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 heartbreak is something that you can and will get through but if you believe you can't then that will come true for you you know we've got whoa 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 it's all happening here we've got um the two of pentacles here there's too many i oh, know oh here we go two cards great Okay, so we've got the Three of Wands, which is a step forward from the Two of Wands here. So maybe this is something you have been through or been going through, okay? Um, and I do want to say with the Two of Pentacles here, this is you trying to juggle things. And it's quite interesting because with the Temperance card, we've got the two here as well. Okay, so this, I feel like, is you learning actually how to blend what it is that you're trying to juggle. Okay, where's the other card? I just had it. Oh, it's over here. Um, Look beneath the surface, and I'm just seeing this person here. Okay, I have just have to go with what I'm getting. I'm seeing this person here with a surfboard, which looks like dusk or early morning. It's not daytime, and they're going to jump into the water with their surfboard. And all I am thinking is Jaws. <laughs> there could be a shark in there, man. This is like the time they reckon not to go in, although I think, you know, that can happen at any time. And with this shield, this energy here... Um, And then she's here, but she's not noticing the water behind her. <sighs> what is this? I need one more card here because I'm just not sure. Look beneath the surface, see? It's, it's kind of like, or, you know what, Leo? This could be something, ah, your emotions looking beneath the surface of your emotions, that's what it is, um, you are needing to delve, delve deeper into what it is that you're feeling because I feel like some of you are just scaping over and not actually dealing properly with what it is that you need to deal with, okay? Love and light. Act with care.
yeah this is really really beautiful um act with care with yourself leo be gentle with yourself be kind with yourself if you go through this process of healing yeah um just like you would anyone else who has been through or going through who would be going through this process and I really do feel like the Ascended Masters and this card here, there's something about the energies that are very similar. Um, and I also want to say, actually, if there is someone else going through this around you, that you are um, acting with care. Um, or it could be Leo, that if you're going through this yourself, that you are... Being mindful of others around you. It's kind of like there are people who want to come and help you, but there's some sort of refusal of help. So whether that's from you or someone refusing your help, that's interesting. Yeah, see? It's kind of like, no, I don't want these three cups. I want this cup. Maybe this is about a new relationship. Maybe there is someone who wants a new relationship with you, but you're like, meh, not going there again. Look at the magician here, though. See, look at what the magician can create. Now, the magician, what the magician has done, has taken all the pain, all the hurt, and he's mixed it all up here, and he's mixing it in with some really, really good stuff. Okay, he's he's he knows how to make the wheel turn and work for him. Okay, he knows what is beneath the surface. Okay, he knows how to shield his energy, and he's mixing all this up, man. He's sitting there, blending everything together to make it work for him. And what that in turn is doing is sending out. A message to the universe to say no matter what comes to me I can deal with it you know I'm I because I feel like you're hiding I feel like you're hiding I feel like you're shutting yourself away because you don't want to it's like you know it could be Leo that you've been through this and you're like oh you know even closing your heart off it, whether you're in a relationship or not you can still close your heart off even if you're with someone, right? And I feel like for some of you, this is the case. And this is you shielding your energy, you know, but it's it's actually turning out to be something that you're missing out on rather than it once upon a time was a protection and now you're missing out on this. So, yeah. But anyway, let's get to that activation. I'm going to be interested to see what this is anyhow. Okay, so... Just get these one more. So excited now. But yeah, that's pretty heavy, Leo. Pretty heavy. I'd just be interested as to, you know, what's going on for you to make you want to shield yourself. So, I mean, obviously this, but yeah. Anyway, okay, onto this. The Great Gathering. It's all coming together. Intuitive Hits Soul Tribe. Look at this. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to find this. I've typed it on my computer because the book's so blim and small. The writing in the book is so small that I'm like, yeah, we're not struggling with that. I'm not putting you through that. Or myself. The Great Gathering. Here we go. Okay, so I'm going to read this out. Okay, what it says in the book. And then we're going to do the activation. Okay, Leo. Right. You are being called to let your intuition move you physically. <sniffs> okay. Um, you are connected to a group of souls who are weaving a web around the planet. Oh my gosh. That's what this is. This is the web. All these lines of the web. Okay. Wow. Okay. Right. And as you travel and share your creations, something is re-threaded. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that um, threading here. 
there's this thing being re-threaded. You can't see it. Okay, right, uh, where am I? This card is an acknowledgement that you are either being called to connect with others who are like you at a soul level, or that you already are. You are being called to gather groups of people, either by leading them or becoming part of a group that can support you and your personal mission. You are part of a group of souls who agreed to be here at this time in history to heal yourself, your ancestral line, and the planet. Yes, Leo, yes. To raise the consciousness so that we can continue to call this magnificent place home for eras to come. One of many consciously choosing to devote your life to something greater than yourself. It's time to call in your tribe by sharing your soul's voice and letting yourself be seen. When you share what is real and true to you and you share the medicine that you most need, those who are like you will gather around you. You are your tribe. They are just like you. And just as you are longing and searching for them, Leo, they are longing and searching for you too. Aww. And that's what that eternal, eternal union is about, because they're your soul tribe. It's eternal. It never ends. Oh, that's so beautiful. Oh, I love that for you, Leo. That's gorgeous. Yay. Yay for you. So, you know, this, um, where is it? This one here, this could be many moons of heartache that you're, you know, if it's ancestral, right? Um, but this is about your healing and I, and there are people who can support you. I love this. Wow. All makes sense now. Okay. Right. So here's the activation. All right. So normally you would hold, um, the card on your heart and say it out loud, but short of that, what we're going to do is I'm going to hold the card up for you to look at and place your left hand on your heart. Okay. And repeat after me. Okay. I choose now to let myself be seen. I am ready to call in my soul tribe and create a web of light all over the planet. Wow. And that's what that web of light is. That is so beautiful. You know, and allowing yourself to be seen, Leo, so that your soul tribe can find you and you can find them. You know, hiding behind the locked door here isn't going to help you find them if you haven't already. So this is incredible. And I absolutely love this for you. So, Leo, I want to say to you to come back and do this every day. You know, if not more than once a day. Okay? Um, at least for the next couple of weeks is if not more. Okay? If not for longer, I mean. So, um, yeah. And, um, and Leo, you know, this is all so to help you grow. And we really want other people to be growing as well because once they become aware and wake up, they're going to start looking for their soul family too and that could be you, you know. Um, so please share this video and comment. Let us know in the, co in the comments, you know, if you feel called to, to you know, say what's going on for you. Um, and yeah, subscribe and, and do all that stuff to, to help other people find these videos so this can help them with their mission. Okay, Leo, I'm going to leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful selves and enjoy your ascension. See you. Bye-bye.